Kevin Mala played with the Red Sox when they won it all in uh, 04, Mr. Cowboy Up. He said uh, that something nobody knew was where the baseball was, the final out when the Red Sox beat the Cardinals in the World Series. He said Doug Mankiewicz was in late inning defensive replacement. He took the ball, put it in his wife's purse. They're on the bus, and then some guys realized that he had the ball. And then not sure if the Red Sox asked for it, gave it back, how long he was able to keep it. But uh, Doug joins us now. Doug, where is that baseball? Man, it's in the Hall of Fame, buddy. It's a Hall it's, it's, oh. it's funny how people can't read if it's, if it's, not, if it's not on the front page. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, the funny thing about that was, uh, you know, I think you got some of that right. Um, after we get we land off the plane and, and uh, we're all in our, back on the Fenway Clubhouse and, and uh, MLB's there authenticating stuff. And I actually bumped into Larry Lucchino as – as they're putting a sticker on, he's like, "Oh, is that the ball?" I said, "Yep." And uh, he never, he never asked for it <laughs> until about uh, four or five months later. So then, then the story grew from there. It's like an urban legend up there that uh, no one seems to know the truth. How long did you have the ball? Let's see. I had it. Uh, let's see. It started out. Uh, they asked me. They asked me for it. I want to say in January. And uh, I said they wanted it for their – this is Lucchino now. They asked that he wanted it for the Fenway Hall of Fame. And I said, sure, no problem, but uh, why don't we – you know, because the whole joke of the whole thing was I was going to sell it, which I never was. It was a tongue-in-cheek article. And uh, <clears throat> it's funny. He goes, you're going to charge people, right, to come see that ball, right, <laughs> at, the Fenway, at the Fenway Hall of Fame? He goes, oh, yeah. I go, I tell you what, then why can't we, you know, take a dollar of that – just take a dollar from each ticket you sell to go see go in your family hall of fame and give it to the Timmy Foundation. His exact quote to me was, uh, "We don't get told what to do with our money." So I was like, "Whoa, okay." So uh, we end up loaning it back to him, and for a year, and the story goes on and on about that, about how it was extremely unprofessional on Larry's part. But uh, it's water under the bridge now, and it's it, it's it's where it's supposed to be. It's in the it's in the baseball hall of fame. Did people come to your house when they knew you had the ball? Oh yeah, it was it was a train wreck. It was uh, the funny thing was the article was supposed to be on mine and Kevin's relationship through because one of us was getting traded that off season, and I said, "Oh, Kevin and I talk all the time." It's like you know the joke is, "Oh, today I'm going to the Mets. Where are you going?" It's like, "Well, I'm going to Houston." So it was like the whole article was about how we can be still be friends and 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 through all that. I go, "Look, it's just part of the business. We understand that." And so the last ten seconds of the article was, "Oh, you still have the ball?" And I said, "Yeah, of course." And uh, he said, "Boy, I bet you that uh, I bet you that ball would fetch a pretty penny." And I go, "Oh, well, you know, I never thought about it that way, but I guess you're right." And, and uh, he says, "You know, I go, maybe I could put my kids through Florida State." Well, anybody that knew me at the time or knows me now, I didn't have kids at the time, <laughs> and uh, you know, we're the fortunate ones. We make a significant amount of money, so you know, going to Florida State is not you're not putting them through MIT. You know, it's it's not the most expensive school on the planet, so. Uh, you know, it was it was a big uh, it was a big drawn out misunderstanding. I mean, I had death threats and people, you know, wow. describe my wife's clothing down to the make of her shoes, saying she's not coming home tonight. Uh, this is when I was on the road, so it was it was one big disaster. But uh, I will say this: the Red Sox fans that I've been in contact with since then have been, you know, they always say thank you. They're you know that team is a is a, is a special team, and you know that uh, to me that's that's what it's all about. They say thank you and. And, uh, you know, the kidding thing aside is I felt like the ball that meant something, in my opinion, was the the ball, the last out of the ALCS, in which... That's what I said. Uh, I, I said to know. Kevin the same thing. Uh, Doug, I'm up against the break, and um, I, I do thank you for clearing that up. I apologize. And I know you were, you know, ending on a serious note there about what was going on with your family death threat. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.